Hey everybody, welcome to HemingwayLand.com. If you're visiting us today through Lands of America, Land and Farm, Land Watch, or even Craigslist, welcome. Thank you for visiting our site. And if you're here, it's because I presume you're looking either for property within Trace Piedras Estates, you're looking for land close to towns, you're looking for RV-friendly or off-grid-friendly land, or simply because you're looking for cheap, inexpensive property within the northern part of New Mexico. If that's the case, you came to the right place. We have quarter-acre lots priced at $750, half-acre lots priced at $1,500, and the rare one-acre lots are priced at $3,000. Those are lower than all of our competition and lower than all of the realtors who we see listing property within Taos on the MLS. So, uh, because we have so many of these, we've created this landing page to help you better navigate and absorb all this information. So, for instance, you can come to our main New Mexico listing page right here, scroll down to Taos County, and you can go through all the rows and rows of properties that we have available. Click Learn More on any of these, it'll bring up their listing pages. And you can compare and contrast the properties by going from listing page to listing page. That, however, can become a little tedious, so what we recommend is that you use this master spreadsheet that we have here on this landing page. Click on this and it will bring up this Google Doc sheet of all the properties that we have available for purchase. Now, at the time I'm making this video, we have more blue properties, sold properties, than we have white ones. That being said, we're constantly updating this with new properties, and in the weeks and months ahead, we anticipate uh, larger acquisition, more bulk acquisitions out there. Anyway, this spreadsheet will help you navigate through all these properties. Uh, in my experience, in my observation, most people who are shopping for land in Trace Piedras Estates are shopping by legal description. They own Unit 6, Block 74, Lot G, and now they want to buy H. For those people, this will be easy to read through. If you're not familiar with the subdivision, however, I'd recommend that you simply use these GPS coordinates that we have over here. If you hover your mouse over any one of them, it'll bring up a link, and if you click on that, it will bring the property up on Google Maps and show you exactly where the property is located. So if you have some notion about, I want to be closer to the highway, or I want to be further from the highway for more privacy, things like that, this will help you narrow down which properties interest you most. And when you have it down to one or two or three, you can come over here and hover your mouse over the reference number, click on the link that comes up, and it will bring up that property specific listing page. Now, I will tell you guys that all of these listing pages are largely the same. The only difference between them is the legal information that we have down here. From the reference number down to the GPS coordinates, all of this information is different per listing page, but the rest of it is all largely the same. Whatever the case, if you use this landing page that we have here, you can also uh, utilize this for our Trace Piedras Frequently Asked Questions. Uh, at this point, uh, I have gotten so many questions about Trace Piedras that I'm going to guess that if you have a question about it, we have most likely already answered it here in this FAQ. So I'd encourage you to read through this, and this will give you a better sense of what you can do out there and various questions that people typically have for us. Additionally, we have some county contact links here. These are on all of our listing pages as well. These will help you better with your research. So for instance, county planning and zoning, if you want to build something, New Mexico Environmental Department, if you have questions about septic, or the state engineer's office if you have questions about building a well or getting water rights out there. Additionally, we have a photo gallery down here of what land in Trace Piedras looks like. And after I'm done making this video, we're going to upload a drone video here. Uh, you watch that, it'll give you an excellent sense of the property, the terrain, and the surroundings throughout this region. Anyway, if you want to purchase one of these properties, just go to the specific listing page. You're going to have two options. So for instance, this is a quarter acre lot. We have the option here of $750 cash, one payment, or if you don't have all the money, you can put a down payment of $250 and pay $100 a month. So for instance, if you click this button, it will bring up this checkout here, where we ask for $250 down, and then we're going to ding your credit card every 30 days until the property has been paid in full. We'll ask you what name or names you want for the deed. We'll ask you what your tax address is, which is essentially where Taos County is going to send the annual tax statement, which in Trace Piedras, by the way, is $5 a lot annually. Uh, click the next button down here, and then we'll ask you for credit or debit card information. On properties where you're paying slowly over time, we're going to have a land contract. A uh, land contract is going to be the document that demonstrates your equitable interest in the land. Only until such a time as the property's been paid in full will we deed the property into your name. Now, if you're paying cash all at once, we're going to write that deed up within 24 hours. We're going to get that to you, and once you uh, agree that we spelled your name right, got the address right, things like that, we're going to autograph it, notarize it, and mail it off to the county. So as you can see, the checkouts here are largely the same. Again, legal name, tax address, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, once you have given us money, as far as we are concerned, the property is yours to do with as you please. That being said, from start to finish, it's about three weeks before you have that recorded deed in your hand. 
So I hope everybody finds this helpful. I hope that you guys take the time to explore specifically this landing page. It should help answer a lot of questions that you have, and it will make it easier, as I said earlier, to navigate and absorb the information that we have about all these properties. If you have any further questions or if there's anything on this FAQ that's not being answered, uh, give us a call, 702-919-7170, or shoot us an email at support at HemingwayLand.com. Thanks, everybody, for watching.